Howdy, in today's video, I'm very nasally, I just kind of woke up, and I'll be showing you guys how to use the command bar to place objects because they can save a lot of time. So first, I'm going to give you the non-command bar example. So I have this rock, and I want this rock to be everywhere, so I'm duplicating that rock. Alright, so the rock's been duplicated, and now I just need to go and rotate the rock, every single rock, to make the rocks unique. And that took like 30 seconds, which is absolutely unacceptable. Like, who would want to spend 30 seconds manually placing rocks in their game? Well, for those people, I'm going to teach you how to use the command bar to do it. Because the command bar is pretty cool, and it's heavily underutilized. So, I'm going to insert a script into server storage. Uh, no, server script service. I'm just going to, I'm not going to name this script. I'm just going to use this to program stuff to put in the command bar. And then for these two rocks, I'm just going to put those in replicated storage. Now I'm going to do local rock1 equals game dot, whoa, don't do a space, rock1 equals game dot replicated storage dot rock1. And I'll zoom it in for you blind people that need glasses. All right, local rock2 equals game dot replicated storage dot rock2. Now we have our rocks. So I'm going to do something called a for i loop. So for i equals 1, so that's our starting point, 30, do so basically what this loop is going to do is print yo so it will run the loop 30 times but i can also print i so each time it runs the loop i can make something happen that's different and i can it also like counts as you can see so one yo two yo three yo i can start rapping but um yeah it just it counts and it adds another iteration of the loop so i can just make code run a certain amount of time so i'm gonna do 50. Actually, will be swag. And we'll do local uh, runtime. I don't know. I'm just going to do times equals 50. I'm going to replace 50 with times. All right. So let's make it place the rocks. So I'm just going to do local random rock equals. I got to get the folder for the rocks. I'm going to put the rocks in a folder. So we got rocks. Group as a folder. Rocks. And I'm going to do instead of rock one, rock two, I'm going to do local rock folder equals game dot replicated storage dot rocks children which is going to get everything in that folder then um i'm going to do local random rock actually i'll put the random rock in here local shiznit random rock actually is already here i'm blind guys i'm tired random rock equals rock folder math dot random one number rock folder clone all right so i should just get a random rock and clone it some do random rock dot parent equals game dot workspace and then i need a position part to like i'll show you guys what it does but just add a part to the workspace and we'll do root part and now i can actually do something so random rock dot anchor yeah it's true um random rock dot position equals vector three dot new uh we'll do we have to get the root part so local game dot workspace dot whoa local oh my god oh <laughs> local root part equals game dot workspace dot root part guys i'm so tired what the heck is happening all right local position equals root part dot position dot x and then i'll just copy this code three times boom Boom, I'll change the middle one to be Y, the last one to be Z. Then I'll just add plus math.random negative. So I'm gonna do local range equals uh we'll do 50 for range, and I'll do negative range and then just positive range. Then I'll just copy this and I'll add it to the Z axis. The reason I'm not adding anything to the Y axis is because the Y axis is up and down. And I don't want my rocks to be in the sky. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to rotate the rock too. So random rock dot uh, orientation equals vector 3 dot new random thing. Nope. Random rock dot orientation dot x. And then I'm just going to do the same thing I did. Paste that three times. X, Y, Z. And then the only one I'm going to rotate is the Y. So do math 
plus math dot random uh, one 360 so it can rotate anywhere between circle top 10 wording of all time and now we have this script so I'm just gonna copy this code paste it in the studio and boom and I think it worked but I want to put the rocks in a folder because it's kind of annoying so um, we're just gonna make a folder and workspace and then rock folder actually we'll make this we'll make this code make a folder for it. us so we'll do local folder equals instance dot new hold folder folder apparent this came out workspace folder dot name it's rock folder and then we'll just set the parent to be folder all right and I'm gonna lower the range from five. Oh, no wonder it's it's so spread out. It's at 500 instead of 50. I don't know how I didn't catch that. Pay sense to the command bar. Boom. We just now remember this part that I added. This root part. That's basically where the rocks are gonna spawn around. So move the root part, and the rocks spawn. Kind of cool. And it's also picking like a random rock out of our rock folder. Let's see, let's see, let's add one more rock. I'm just gonna paste my rock into the workspace and we'll scale it like this. And I'll make it a funny little like blue rock color. We'll name this rock three and we'll just stick that in our folder. So I'm gonna change times to actually be amount and range, okay. So we have a mount range. I could make this a function, but because I'm just going to be using it in this like command bar video, I'm not going to make a function out of it. Um, range amount. So I'm going to turn the range up to like one. Uh, I'm going to do 350. I'm going to do 100 rocks. Copy this code. See where my root part is. I want the rocks to. What are you? There's two of you. All right. Just going to hit it with a boom. And we'll do it like two more times. We'll just keep doing it. There we go. Yeah, randomly generated rocks. Pretty cool. Now you can also do stuff like trees. Really any model. But I'll show you guys more stuff later. I'm recording this video before I go to work. But for those who don't understand this script. Well, now I'm going to explain it to you. So basically, I'm getting the rock folder. Which is this folder inside of replicated storage which has just rocks in it. It's a folder with rocks, guys. Then I'm getting the child, which is the first thing inside the folder, basically. So all of these are considered children. But if I wanted to get the rock that's inside the rock, I'd have to use get descendants. But we're not doing that, so we're just going to do get children. Then I have the root part, which is this part right here. The root part is basically just where the rocks will spawn around, so it knows where to do the starting point. Then I have my amount, my range, which are just variables to help me control the spawning of rocks. I have a folder that's created here, which is pretty self-explanatory. Now, onto the part that might confuse some people. So I have this loop that will run the amount of times of the amount value. So for I1, meaning it starts at 1, it will run over and over again until it reaches 50 or 100. Basically, whatever the number of amount is. Then right here, I have a little um, variable that's gonna pick a random rock from that folder so it's basically just like saying hey go through the rock folder start at one and then go to the number of uh, um children that's inside of the rock folder so we'll go three times and it'll pick one of these three rocks and then if i add another one it will automatically know oh there's four so pick one of the four so if i basically if i change this to three it will only pick one rock you'll only have one type now right here it's just setting the parent of the rock to the folder and workspace once it's created. And then the position part is pretty easy. So I'm basically just getting the rocks already existing position. So the X, Y, Z, and then I'm adding plus negative range, positive range to the X and the Y, I mean the X and the Z axis. So basically it's a square. It's the ne it's negative 50 by positive 50. So if I go in here and I copy this script where it's only 50 and I spam it, a bunch of times you'll see that it's just a square i'm just spawning rocks within that square so 
that's actually kind of cool. Make a rock path real quick. Boom, 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 boom. But yeah, I'm just I'm just creating like a square. So the negative and the positive allows you to make a square. That's all that does. Then for the orientation, I'm just doing the same thing, except I'm using the orientation and I'm only rotating the Y. Vector 3 just lets you move parts in the workspace. This is a vector, like right here. Vector 3, see how there's a red, a blue, and a green? Those are the three positions of vector. So we have the X, we have the Y, Z, everything axis. So I'm just basically telling the game, hey, use that axis and move the rock to a random position within negative 50 studs, positive 50 studs. And yeah, you get this where we have a square and if i wanted to here let me delete all these folders if i wanted to i could just crank the range to like be 350 make it 350 rocks copy this code and if i were building a map that was open world or something and i just needed rocks you would want to go and place all these rocks and i could also do the same thing with stuff like trees or grass like anything that you that's kind of annoying to just place a lot of you could just randomize it so the game does it on its own and you don't have to go and place all these rocks and it's just a really simple and easy script and it lets you do stuff really simply and my stomach's rumbling it lets you do stuff really easily simply so i will just let you guys look at this for a moment and zoom all the way out i might put this in the description of the video just so you guys can copy it if the formatting doesn't get destroyed but yeah this little simple script right here will let you spawn anything you want as many times over and over again and just for the sake of the tutorial i'm gonna do like five thousand rocks just for you guys and boom and i don't really know oh there we go we're just gonna let that do its thing for a moment my nice. okay and there you guys go it is kind of atrocious to look at i spammed it 23 times just now I actually i don't even know wow that is crazy look at all these rocks guys imagine going through and placing each individual rock this would take forever like you you just would not want to do this it runs great by the way like look how good this quality is but yeah if you guys enjoyed today's video i'm glad let's use one of those new roblox emotes that they added um yeah I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Uh, don't forget to wash your clothes, brush your teeth, uh, take a shower. Really, anything that makes you smell like booty, just make sure you, you know, you avert, you will avoid that. You don't want to smell like booty, guys. So, uh, yeah, catch you on the flip side. And to those that have hermit crabs, just know I'm watching. And uh, I will come for them soon. Bye-bye.